Hello, Space Lab. I'm Michael Moyer, Senior Editor for Scientific American, and I'm here today to answer your questions. The first question is, could we annihilate a black hole by feeding it a bunch of antimatter? One of the interesting things about black holes is that they're not ordinary objects like we see around, uh, like you and me. They're a geometric quality of the universe. And what that means is that they're a region of space inside of which we can never see because nothing, not even light, can escape from the black hole. We can never get information out of that black hole. So if you were to throw in some antimatter into your black hole, whatever happened past the event horizon, past the point of no return, would be totally invisible to us. All the energy and all the mass or anything that happened in the middle of that black hole would never be able to escape. So even if you could put in some antimatter into an ordinary black hole, the black hole would just suck it up and get bigger. The second question is, if nothing can escape from a black hole, why can its magnetic field? Actually, nothing can escape from a black hole, not even its magnetic field. Now, why do we say that there is a magnetic field around a black hole? The simple reason that we can see the magnetic field of the stuff that's falling into the black hole. As matter starts to fall towards a black hole, often you'll see it spin and it starts to spin as it, as it infalls. And so if you have this material, a lot of this charged material, spinning around and making a tight spiral around that black hole, that spinning charged material is gonna create a magnetic field, but it's not coming out of the black hole. It's coming from all the matter that surrounds the black hole. The third question is, is a black hole two-dimensional and flat, or is it a spherical shape? I could see why people would think that a black hole is two-dimensional and flat, because the standard way that we try and explain what a black hole is, is you take a sheet and you put an object in the middle of the sheet and it shows all these gravitational lines coming and bending down and, and things will come and fall into the middle of the black hole. And that's what we use to try and explain what happens in uh, Einstein's theory of general relativity. Now, out there in space, we're not really talking about a two-dimensional sheet everything is happening in three dimensions. The problem is, is that you can't show three-dimensional space turning down into the fourth dimension. Trust me, I've tried it, it's very hard to do. We can't even imagine it. So we show this analog of the real problem, uh, and the analog is the flat sheet, but in reality, out there in the world, black holes, like anything else, are these three-dimensional objects. Thanks for these great questions. If you have questions for the next expert, please leave them in the comments below.